Hello Booktube, how are you all doing? It's Paul here with another video. Um, hope you're all doing great, wherever you are, wherever you're um, watching this from. Uh, in fact, if anyone you, you know that is watching this and, and wants to tell me where they're watching from, I'd be intrigued to find out. Um, so feel free to leave a comment or something and, and let me know. I'd be fascinated to to find that out. Um, so anyway, what have I got to tell you today? I suppose I would like to start with the book that I'm currently reading, which is a book by the name of Snowflower and the Secret Fan by Lisa C. If I can hold up that up there in a way that I can avoid the glare. Quite a nice cover. Um, this is uh, a book that I picked up at the library where I work and um, it's part of our book group collection which is um, almost always guaranteed to have great titles in it. I'm now about three quarters of the way through this and it's an astonishing book. It is absolutely beautiful. You know, the language, the story, it's and it's full of life and drama and beauty and tragedy and all of these things and it follows um, a young lady called Lily throughout her life, throughout her childhood and it goes into how she has suffered at the hands of her family and at the hands of the culture in general. Um, I mean it describes that it's set in uh, China and the uh, the way it describes the the foot binding that used to go on at, at, at the time that this story was was um, set it's it's I would say one of the most difficult things that I've read you know and it really really touched me and it was the unspeakable cruelty um, it was unimaginable, you know, can you imagine having a, a seven, eight, nine year old daughter and binding her feet and folding her feet back on themselves and having to walk on it until the bones break and to, to get these um, small bound feet that were seen in, in those times and that part of the world is highly desirable and attractive and socially acceptable. Um, the smaller and more perfectly formed the foot was, you know, the more valuable the woman was in terms of marriage and, and everything else. But my goodness, I mean, the cruelty and the... But it's an amazing book and it, it's just... it re It's really speaking to me and, and I would highly recommend this to anyone. And anyone watching this that has read it, I'd be uh, very interested to know what your opinions are on it. Um, so please let me know. But I will report back once I've finished it. That Snowflower and the Secret of Fan. Absolutely wonderful book. Um, the next book that I have to show you, um, I don't know much about yet because... Um, it was loaned to me by a friend, and there it is. Four H's in the title. It's um, World War Two um, story uh, to do with Henrik Himmler, and I think it it's basically to do with what made him the man he was. And um, I'm just really not too sure, but I'm I'm intrigued to read this. It appears to be quite original and um, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. It comes as uh, being highly recommended so it wouldn't have been the first book that I would have picked up but um, I've made a lot of my most favourite discoveries book wise by finding a book in my hands that I, I wouldn't have normally chosen or picked up and it has turned out to 
to have opened my my eyes and been something amazing. And so, you know, I, I, I like that about reading. You know, a friend loans you a book or you pick something up somewhere that you you acquire a book that you would never normally have, have picked up. You give it a go and it turns out to be amazing. And I think it opens doors in your mind to whole new avenues and perhaps not just book wise, you know, it can it can set you down a path that can um you would never have anticipated. So it's all good stuff. I will report back on that one as well with a bit more knowledge once I've looked into it properly. And uh, finally I would like to do my usual book from the past using my trusty reading log random number generator. We'll see what book comes up. The, the log contains everything I've ever read and so I shall um, generate a random number, select the book and see if I can remember it or see what memories it sparks. Let's see. So the number today is 234 and we shall see what book that is. Okay, this is um this book um I read in twenty nineteen and it's exactly what I've just spoken about. You know, you find yourself with a book in your hand that you normally wouldn't bother with. Um and this happened in the uh, as I was working in the library we have um a whole range of westerns you know because they're small kind of western books that um people take out you know that it's very much a kind of thing that either people don't bother with or they're obsessed by i mean we had um borrowers that the odd borrower that would take out 30 or 40 at a time of these things but it's a, a little um western by a guy called stephen Overholzer, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and it, the book is called Molly and the Indian Agent. I'll put the the title and the author below, so if anyone's interested in this, they can they can check it out. But they're just small things, small westerns, and they're easy to read. And I I have to confess, I'm I'm going to confess here that. I was looking down my nose at these books, you know, I thought they would be just, you know, not very good, not very well written, I thought the plots would be thin, and, you know, I read it, and I'll freely admit how wrong I was. I, I, I find the Western, the uh, Molly and the Indian Agent, it, 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 um, involved this kind of female, uh, I don't want to call her a bounty hunter, she was kind of a problem solver. For some reason the equalizers come into mind, you know, she would be she would turn up and, and sort of things out and um sort of an unofficial sheriff if you will. But um you know, it was a, it was about a woman kind of holding her own in a man's world and uh and getting the better of the men kind of ninety nine percent of the time and it was great fun. Molly and the Indian Agent, and um, it was well written, and the plot kept me interested the whole way through, and I've completely changed my view of those kinds of books. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, you know, it, it's good, good entertainment, and in my view, as uh, as well written as an awful lot of things out there, so um, I would certainly read one again. I would read several, maybe not 30 or 40 like some of the customers take out, but I would certainly read read more of them. So um, if anyone, uh, you know, has never considered picking one of those things up, give it a try. Let me know how you go and um, that would be great. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here for today. Um, and as usual, I will wish you 
all the best and um, I will see you in the next video. Take care.